Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Omniviewer, and here's some interesting news regarding Godzilla King of the Monsters 2019. Last time I spoke about the Monsterverse, we learned the location of King Ghidorah. Now, we've got our first sort of look at Mothra. That's right, we actually have a visual this time around. Now, it's not a picture of the actual Mothra, but it's a pretty good indicator of what she'll be looking like. So, here we are. As you can see from the little infographic in the bottom left-hand corner, this is a pictograph from the Temple of the Moth. And we can imagine this is pretty close to how Mothra will be looking in the actual movie. It just lacks any sort of color. I have to say, taking into account that there's no color here, this is actually pretty close to how Mothra looks in the original films. Since it's just a gray stone etching, we don't know what the color scheme will look like. It could match the more earthy tones of the Showa Mothra, or it could match the more colorful Heisei Mothra, or it could be something completely different. It's a pretty far cry from some of the fan images we've seen floating around, which depict Mothra as looking almost Hornet-like. But even though Mothra's the main focus, you may notice the three other familiar objects in this image. First, and most obviously, is the egg at the top of the image. The reference there is obvious. This concept is central to Mothra's mythology. And then, of course, there's the larvae. They're a bit harder to make out because the sections of wall thereon are heavily cracked and faded, but there are very clearly two larvae flanking Mothra. Now, of course, the reference here is very specific. The idea of having two Mothra larvae show up was first introduced in the original 1964 Godzilla vs. Mothra, or Mothra vs. Godzilla, or Godzilla vs. The Thing, or whatever title you choose to go by. And it was later reused in Godzilla x Mothra x Mechagodzilla Tokyo SOS. Now the fact that there are two larvae here does raise an interesting question. Are the larvae actually going to appear in the movie? Or is this just a little something for the fans? It's possible we'll see something similar to the previous films, where the adult Mothra dies and the larval Mothra have to fend for themselves, or perhaps join in the fight with the stronger monsters. It's possible we could see the two larvae somehow forming Mothra together. Don't ask me how that would work, it's just a thought I'm throwing out there. Or it's possible this is just a little something for the fans and it won't have anything to do with the movie at all. Whatever the case, it's still pretty clear from this image that they're going for a more traditional look with Mothra. I can't say I'm terribly surprised. Much like King Kong, there are only so many ways you can redesign a giant moth. But it does have me very curious to see how the final version will look. Also, the fact that this is clearly in a temple, combined with how Mothra is the only other monster besides Kong to have a temple in the Monsterverse so far, has me thinking they are going to push the idea that Mothra is indeed a goddess of some sort, or at the very least was regarded as a goddess. That wouldn't actually be too far from the original film. The first Mothra movie was very ambiguous about whether or not Mothra was an actual deity or just a bizarre mutation of the Atomic Age. It wasn't until later movies that she became more blatantly supernatural. Whatever the case, I'm intrigued to see how they handle her. Also, this is probably where that temple guard I speculated about earlier comes from. But anyway, what do you guys think? Are you happy the Monsterverse Mothra looks traditional, or were you hoping for something different? Do you think the two larvae will have any role to play in the movie, or is it just there as fan service? Feel free to leave your thoughts below. Until such time as we meet again, this is the Omni Viewer, signing off.